is the most danger-packed show on television. Every jump, every aerial maneuver is real. Photographed just as it happened, without tricks or illusion. All that stands between the jumper and death is his ripcord. This is the first shoot we tested at the Navy parachute facility with a mercury capsule. This is slow motion, of course. That's a pretty fair sized shoot. Pretty fair sized weight it's supporting, too. Now, these next shots are of an experimental ejection seat designed for takeoff and landing emergency. The object being to fire a man high enough so the chute will open and lower him safely. Watch the seat explode out of that aircraft. Now, here's a test for a new anti-exposure suit. Frank, uh, how cold was that water when the jumper went in? Now, that was me. The water was below 45 degrees, doggone cold. Hey, here's my team, the Shooting Stars, at one of our exhibitions. Each member on the team has a minimum of at least 300 jumps. Don't those jumps look great in slow motion? We put on these exhibitions all over the country for the public. And each jump adds to our experience. Well, how was that for landing on target? Well, that's exceptional for Navy. Normal procedure for paratroopers. Yeah, we were making landings like that in our second and third jumps. You haven't made a landing that good yet. You airborne jokers kill me. Your chute is nothing but a means of transportation. How many times you reckon he's given that spiel to his recruits? A few. But it's the truth, isn't it? Uh, to a degree, I suppose. Hey, a concession from a paratrooper. Jim, they're gonna drum you right out of the core. You know what I'm gonna do if that happens. I'm gonna join the Navy. That's where you get all your leaders, guys that uh, couldn't make the grade in Airborne. <laughs> well, the years don't change us, do they? I'm still in the best outfit, and you two are still weak-minded. <laughs> Ribbing Frank Pearson was always fun for all three of us, but the time was coming soon when we would be involved in a very serious mission with a human life at stake. Up to. I'm gonna call in and tell him where to get her. Are you out of your mind? Listen, that girl might die out there. She might also get us caught. Which is worse for us. Yeah. I got some information you can pass on to the police. John Roberts' daughter is in a canyon in the Black Mountain area. Never mind who this is. If anyone wants to see her alive, they better get to her in a hurry. She's sick. She's staggering and talking funny. Keeper? 
Buckley. Yeah, you're Will. Uh... <laughs> Will Kenny, and Sergeant yeah. of the Police. Are you uh, fellows available for a job? We are. Sit oh. down. Thank you. I, uh, I've got a kidnapping. Or worse. A child? No. Cynthia Roberts, 24 years old, daughter of a wealthy industrialist in town. We received an anonymous call about an hour ago. A man saying they had left her in a canyon in the Black Mountain area. They got rid of her because she seemed sick. Well, I checked with her doctor. She is sick. Sick enough to die. Cynthia is a diabetic. She hasn't had insulin in several days, and the doc thinks she's in an insulin coma. Well, how long will this coma last before she... Uh... Before she dies? Maybe days, maybe hours. It'll take hours before the search parties even reach Black Mountain. And who knows what canyon she's in up there. I understand one of you is a paramedic. Yeah, I am. Uh-huh. Well, I had the doc fix up a kit with a proper amount of insulin. I thought maybe you guys could fly over the area. And if you spot her, jump down and give her a shot. Well, it isn't very likely we could spot a person moving through there from the air. It calls for a foot search. We can get there fast enough, but there's only two of us, and as you said, who knows which canyon she's in. What we really need are 14 or 15 well-trained jumpers, in a hurry. Well, I'll go. I never jump, but it can't be any rougher than a Navy PT boat. No, you'd never be able to jump in that kind of country. But you just reminded me of somebody that can. The Navy, the shooting stars. Oh, please, uh, give me Warrant Officer Frank Pearson to the Naval Parachute Facility. I'm going to check with the doc and see what I can find out about insulin comas. Frank? This is McKeever. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, l listen, we've got an emergency. We thought maybe your boys could help. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm all for it, but I have to get it cleared. Of course. How long? Well, I'll get right on it and call you. Uh, you're going to handle the insulin, right? Right. How long? Well, that depends on how long you keep this line tied up. What's the word? Well, if Pearson can find a regulation to suit the situation, we've got it made. Mm -hmm. He's pretty sharp. Doc Carter says that insulin shot won't do it alone. We're going to have to get her to a hospital for examination and treatment. McKeever? Yeah, Frank. I had trouble getting a plane. Ours is being overhauled. But we've got an R4D8 and seven jumpers, including myself. Great. Now, wait a minute. It's not all that rosy. There's a front moving in. And we're cleared for instrument takeoff only right now. So it's clear here. Well, it's not going to stay that way, and it's not going to stay clear over the Black Mountains. Ted, I, I want you to know that the length of this search depends on how fast that front keeps moving in. And it doesn't look good. All right, Frank. Can you pick us up? We'll be there in an hour. Jump master, all secure back here. What's the latest weather? How much time do we have? Unfavorable. The front's moving in over most of the state. Joe Whitney, the pilot, is keeping in contact with our base through the Colfax range station. Dead. If I were to guess how long we'd have any visibility, it would be in terms of minutes rather than hours. I suggest, Frank, see if you approve. There are uh, eight of us excluding Jim. Jim stays with the plane. The rest of us jump over the area and spread out to the various canyon points. A couple of men doubling back, so we have men meeting. Okay so far? So far. Now, each man carries a smoke bomb. The 
plane keeps circling the entire area. If one of us spots the girl, we can signal Jim, giving him the location. He can jump in and administer insulin to her. All right. Approaching target. Lower the flaps. Uh, flaps down. Roger. Five degrees to the right. All right. Stand by. Cynthia Roberts? For a young lady, she's sick. A woman? Up here? What kind of a uniform is that? What are you? Put the rifle down, will you? This isn't a uniform, it's a jumpsuit. A doe. Look, I don't care about that. I'm looking for a missing girl. You'd like to get your hands on this rifle. You might call it a doe, mister, but I call it meat. And I call you the law. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm a jumper, not the law. Move over to that tree. I wouldn't kill you, but it wouldn't bother me to put a slug in your shoulder.
put your arms around the truth. Back. Well, I sure am going to hate losing this belt. But I'd hate losing that dear more. I'm looking for a girl. She's very sick. You're making a mistake. I'm not a game warden. You may be right. The only mistake I'm not going to make is in believing you. Colfax range, this is a Navy 098. Go ahead. How, oh, Roger? Stand by. Bad weather news, Jim. If we don't leave in 10 minutes, I won't be able to land when we get back. 10 minutes? Well, the visibility's perfect here. Well, not for long. Look at that weather front moving this way. Well, stay till it gets here. Supposing they find the girl and we've left. Colfax range, this is Navy 098. Can you give me an alternate field at CAVU, over? Will you verify the weather report at that station, over? Uh, Roger, standing by. They're checking Sweetwater. The weather holes there will stay, as long as it makes sense. Inchon, huh? Looks like you fell into the hands of the enemy. What happened? Thanks. Uh, some stupid poacher. I'll get the game warden after him when we get out of here. I found her shoes and handkerchief. She must be down there. Oh, negative. That's pretty flat land. And I looked behind the few boulders I passed. Well, Frank, I I've been assuming she'd be standing or sitting in view somewhere. Look at those clouds over there. Come on. Colfax, this is Navy 098. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, would you please inform El Centro that we will land there? Uh, Roger, and out. Colfax advises that the alternate would be closed by the time we got there. We're returning to El Centro. Well, come on, take a chance, will you? Those weather forecasts aren't always right. What good's that insulin going to do back at the base? Jim, don't make me out the villain. I want to help that girl as much as you or any of the others. But I do have the responsibility of this aircraft and the crew. A few minutes. You still with us? That's it, Jim. We leave for home now. I'm not going home. Take me up when I'm going to see if I can land on that high ridge. Maybe I can spot the smoke signal from there, if there ever is one. OK, buddy. You fellas never do give up, do you? There she is. Light the smoke, Frank. How is she? Can't tell. All you can. Ah, Jim.
you alive? Barely. I think this is gonna help. Get her sleeve up there, will you? You misjudged your win, didn't you? I wasn't sure you'd make it. Whitney had to go home. I was cruising around up there waiting for your signal. That Cynthia's a good-looking gal. Why else would you be wearing your newest clothes? Me? You're all duded up like a bond salesman, new shoes even. It's all off. Yeah, typical Navy trick. Hey, what's wrong? Out of the goodness of our hearts, we invite you down here to visit Cynthia in the hospital, and you go and pull a trick like this on us. Like what? Like that uniform, that's what. She won't even see us when we walk in the room with you. Why didn't you wear your civvies? Well, let's forget about Cynthia in the hospital, Ted. Maybe this clown would like to know that the, uh, Cops caught the kidnappers? Yeah, how? Well, Cynthia's not so dumb, she took down their license number. That's good. Second, Cynthia's father sent us a check for $2,000. And we'd like to endorse it over to Naval Relief. You think they'll accept it? Well, now, I can't speak officially, but I think if you submit it through proper channels, they'll be open. And speaking of proper channels, I've been putting out a few feelers. Uh, why don't you guys stop this paratroop nonsense and, and join the Navy? I think I can swing it to get you with me. Uh, it's funny, uh, we were just thinking the same thing. If any of your boys don't re-enlist, tell them we'd like to have them with Ripcord. Oh, well, see you, fellas. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> don't you think I know what hospital she's in? <laughs> 